Hello, everyone. I welcome you to this week's edition of Focus on African Women's Health. If you are joining us for the first time, this is a program dedicated to promoting African women's health at home and abroad. It shares the global message of Health for All and emphasizes that African women must not be left behind in optimal health. I do hope that all the mothers enjoyed Mother's Day yesterday, and I wish you all many more of this. My name is Dr. Olaide Ogunshiji of the School of Nursing and Midwifery, Western Sydney, Sydney, Australia. Today, we'll be looking at breast cancer screening practices of African migrant women in Australia. Globally, breast cancer is the most diagnosed cancer among women and a leading cause of mortality and morbidity. Nevertheless, its mortality can be improved through routine breast cancer screening. But what we find is that migrant populations have lower participation rates. While African migrant women are among the fastest growing migrant population in many countries of the world, their participation in breast cancer screening behavior is understudied. Through this presentation today, I bring you findings of a study we conducted in Australia on the breast cancer screening practices of African migrant women. Due to economic, political, and social unrest, a great number of women of African descent are settling in Australia. We used a descriptive cross-sectional approach for the study I'm reporting and a total of 264 African migrant women aged 18 to 16 years and recruited from a number of organizations report, report, responded to a self-reported African version of the Breast Cancer Screening Beliefs Questionnaire. Our main research variables were breast cancer screening practices, and demographic characteristics. We found that while as many as 76.1% of the participants have heard about the need to pay attention to their breasts, and 85.2% have heard about mammogram, only 11.4% actually paid attention to their breasts on a monthly basis. We also found that age and employment were determining factors for participating in mammogram. Importantly, we found that attitudes towards general health checkups are important factors to take into account when we are considering African women's participation in breast cancer screening. Attitude if you have not forgotten, is a component of culture which we discussed about two weeks ago as, as an important social determinant of health. Our findings reiterate the need for a change of attitudes towards breast cancer screening among African women. It is important to emphasize the message that early detection saves life. And for a full detail of the findings, I've provided a link to the published paper, and you'll find this on the heading of this particular video. And that is it for me for this week. Please send me your comments about this important health issue and your thoughts about how we can work together in improving African women's health. Next week, I'll be bringing you a qualitative research finding on migration experience of some West African migrant women in Australia and what this means on their health. Once again, 
My name is Dr. Olajide Ogushiji of the School of Nursing and Midwifery, Western Sydney University, Sydney, Australia. Thank you very much for your time with me today. And I look forward to our time together next week, Monday. And until then, thank you for joining. That's it from me, and it's bye for now.